and talking about the Klaus K Hotel here in Helsinki, Finland, which is part of Design Hotels and participates to Starboard Preferred Guest. Now that I got off, out of the way, this is a Desire King 611. Um, more about this a little bit later. So this is like super tiny, <laughs> so there's a closet practically next to the, uh, that's the weirdest closet by the way I have seen. And on the other side you have the in-room safe and some hangers. And, and by the way, there is actually a two bathrooms as well. Uh, space very well used. And here's the modular bathroom, toilet, sink, and there is the shower. And they do, however, have, uh, well, have these pop bottles here. Some like, some don't, but I'm actually okay as long as you do get some stuff out as well. Um, there's the shower head. And if I can just turn, and of course, a chair. And that's actually a chair as well. There's no, there's no work desk over here. There is, however, a mini bar. Um, some water. Fanta, and there are some snacks here. Quite interesting. Oh, finished licorice that all my foreign friends basically hate. Um, and here is some wine. Nothing there. Another TV. And here's the bed. So, what I was going to say, this hotel used to be called Klaus Kurki, and now it just Klaus K, it's in Boulevardy Street, right in the city center of Helsinki. But you have to be very careful because this hotel has super, some super tiny rooms, which are basically like 12 square meters or something. So this tiny room is double the size compared to the, the smallest one. So keep that in mind. If you don't get upgraded, you might have a miserable stay. But like I said, this actually now participates Cyborg Preferred Guest and they do tend to give actually quite okay upgrades to Platinum members if upgrades are available. But if they are not, you might end up something something really, really, really tiny. So again, close K, Helsinki, Finland. And this was Desire King 611. Um, well, not quite sure where, where that desire comes from, but so I guess that's something, or well, somebody has had a very wild imagination when they were naming these.